Hello and welcome back. I hope you have enjoyed watching this course so far. In this video, we're gonna add a camera, create a nice reflection, and change environment to make a professional logo reveal animation. So, without wasting time, let's dive into it. First of all, let's create a composition. Rename it to Final. All the settings are the same as previous compositions, so just press OK button. Okay, now drag the logo effect into Final Composition. Let's take a look at it. Okay, great. Make this layer 3D. Now we need the camera. So from menu to layer, new camera. For camera preset, we can select 50 mm or 20 mm. I pick this 20 mm preset. Okay, great. To find the center of the screen, let's enable this title action save option. This plus sign shows the center point of the screen. Now select logo FX and slightly raise it up. Okay, and I think I have to decrease the scale for this layer, so press S key and change the scale value to, for example, 70%. Okay, now I want to create a reflection for our logo. So duplicate this logo FX layer, rename the bottom layer to logo FX reflection. Now press R key and change X rotation to 180 and you slightly bring it to bottom. Okay, now let's decrease Y scale a little bit. So turn off this uniform scale button and change it to, for example, 40 and change the position again. Okay, and finally I want to make it a child for logo FX layer. So right click on this narrow area and choose columns, parent and link and drag this pick flip icon over logo FX layer. Okay. Now if I move logo FX layer, as you can see the reflection layer will move as well. Ok, now let's create a floor under our logo. So, select Fix folder and import floor.jpg file. Ok, now drag this floor file into final composition under all layers. Enable the trim button for this layer, then right click and convert it to a composition. Rename it to floor comp and enable move all attributes option. Now again enable 3D option for this floor comp and change X rotation to negative 90. Then bring it down a little bit in Z axis. Okay, for example here. Yes. Okay, as you can see our flow layer can cover this section of the composition. So we can open floor comp, select floor.jpg layer and activate both axis mode button and now move it towards the bottom a little bit. Now open final composition and now we need to activate this collapse button. Okay, as you can see the flow layer will cover this section of the screen. Okay, I think it's better to extend this left and right part of the floor layer to cover the entire screen. So, open floor comp and in effects and preset panel, let's find motion tile effect. Apply to floor layer. And here, change output width to 300. And then change output height to 150. Also, enable mirror edge checkbox. Okay, now in final composition, as you can see, the floor layer covers the left and right section of the screen. Let's reposition logo fix layer. Okay, great. And bring the floor comp towards up a little bit until it covers the reflection length. Okay? We don't need to see floor comp anymore, so let's hide it. Okay, now to have a nice reflection, we need an adjustment layer. So add an adjustment layer to this position. Rename it to reflection adjustment. Okay, and drag it above the logo fix reflection layer. Okay, now let's add a blur effect to it. So, from menu, choose Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Compound Blur. For Blur Layer option, choose Blur Comp. Okay, great. Now to see this effect clearly, let's press CK several times to see this camera icon for your mouse. Or you can click on this camera button up here. Now drag in Composition window to move your camera around. To zoom in and zoom out, you can right click and drag your mouse. And to pan, press your middle mouse button. Okay, now you can see this nice blur reflection effect on your flow layer. Let's increase maximum blur option to have a better result. For example, set it to 15. Nice effect, isn't it? I love this type of reflection effects. Okay, now select logo at its reflection composition and from menu choose effect, blur and sharpen, fast box blur. Change blur radius to, for example, 20. And also change blur dimensions to vertical. Press C key and move the camera to see the result. Okay, it's more natural reflection effect now. If you want to change the reflection clarity, open Blue Comp, select Blue Layer, and from menu choose Effect, Color Correction, Curves. Okay, now let's add another viewer. So from menu choose View, New Viewer. 
While this floor comp is still open, click on this lock button to hold open this view for this competition. Now open final competition. Let's expand this viewer a little bit to have more space here. Okay. Now for floor comp, oops, it seems I forgot to lock this viewer. So open final competition again and lock this viewer for it. Okay. Now in floor comp, I'm gonna change curves effect. And so please pay attention to this reflection to see how it changes. As you can see on the right viewer, our floor color changes, and so in the left viewer, our reflection will change as well. Okay, let's play with this curve to find the best result. Great. Okay, I'm satisfied with the result. Now let's move the camera to a better angle. Okay. Maybe it's better to reduce curves effect a little bit. Okay, it's better now. Okay, now close the final view. Okay, go back to final competition to see the final results. Okay. Use middle mouse button to pan in your reposition camera again. Okay. Okay. If you like, you can change the scale property for the layer. Let's change the scale. As you can see, our reflection changes as well. For example, let's change it to 75. Okay, great result, nice effect. As you can see now, our background is transparent. So, let's add a black solid to the background. Press make comp size button to have the same size to the final composition and change color to black. This black background always helps when you're blending layers over the layers. Now drag this layer under our layers. And finally turn off this target transparency grid button. Ok, now let's change camera zoom, so decrease the zoom property, for example set it to 1000. And now right click and zoom, this will help us to have a wide angle camera. Let's change logo position a little bit, set wide position to 900, and set the Z position to, for example, 100. Ok, great! Ok, now I want to create an environment for this logo with two solid layers. So, create a solid layer, rename it to color1. And for color, let me enter this code, 521195. Change opacity to 60%. And then select ellipse shape and create a mask here on top of this layer. While this mask layer is selected, press F key to load feather property and increase it to, for example, 1000. Ok, now let's create our second solid layer. Rename it to color2. And for color, enter this code 261A54. There are color2 layer under color1 layer. Now let's create a mask for this layer as well. So, use a triangle shape and drag a big rectangle mask here in the middle of the composition. Okay, you can use the selection tool and move mask points to modify mask shape a little bit. Okay, and now press F key and increase the feather to again 1000. Okay, now select these two solid layers and for mode option choose the screen. And in fact, we have to drag them on top of reflection adjustment layer. Okay, okay, let's check our reflection. Okay, I think everything is okay. Yes, great. Let's reposition the camera again. Okay, this is our simple and nice environment. Now it's time to animate the camera. So select the camera, press A key to load point of interest, and then hold Shift key and press P to load position property as well. Let's adjust point of interest first. So go to frame 0 and for X enter 1920, for Y enter 900. And finally for Z, enter Z. Now let's go to frame, for example, 75 and increase X position to 1975. Decrease Y position to, for example, 900. And change Z position to, for example, negative 650. Set a keyframe for position property at current values. Now go to frame 0 and let's decrease X position. So unlock this viewer for a few seconds. Let me add another viewer to have a better angle. Lock this viewer for final competition. And for the right viewer, let's change view to custom view 1. 
and lock it on this view. Okay, in frame 0, let's decrease X position to, for example, 500. Change Y position to move the camera from top to the bottom, so decrease it to 0. And finally, let's change Z position to, for example, negative 500. Okay, now watch the right viewer to see how the camera moves. Okay, great. The camera comes from the top to the bottom and it stops in front of the logo. Okay, great. Now use selection tool and try to move these keyframe handles to modify the camera path. This helps us to have a better camera animation. Okay, press C key and rotate around the logo to see these handles better. Okay, good. Okay, now press V key and move the handles. And let's see it from the top angle. Okay, move them until you get a good angle for your camera animation. Great. Okay, now let's select the last keyframe. Right click and choose keyframe assistant, easy ease. And again, right click and choose keyframe velocity. And then for influence of incoming velocity, adjust it to 5%. Now go to frame, for example, 85 and press NT. Press numpad 0 to see the run preview. Okay, nice and smooth. Okay, now I think it's better to change the camera view a little bit in frame 75. So press C key and use the camera tool to move camera position here. Okay, now I'm satisfied with this result. I think we can add offset to logo FX keyframes to force it to start a little bit later. So, in logo FX composition, select both layers and press U key. Now press tilde button on your keyboard to see the timeline in full screen mode. Okay, now select all these keyframes and move them to frame, for example, frame 15. In fact, we are adding 15 frames offset with these logo effects. Now go back to final composition and let's see what we have here now. Let's see the results. Okay, nice animation. Okay, I think it's better to change the camera zoom and bit. so open zoom property and change it to, for example, 600. Now let's go to frame 75 and increase the position, for example, let's set it to negative 500. Maybe that 600 value is a little bit high for zoom property, it makes a very wide view for the camera and we have a distorted view. So let me change zoom to 750. And let's change the position to negative 650. Okay, great.